Hi everyone, my name is Caitlin Keen and I'm the registrar at the Chesapeake Bay Maritime Museum. Um, today we're going to walk you through the process of what it means to photo document something before an object is accessioned into our collection. Okay, before we jump into our photography documentation process, let's talk about what it means to accession an object into a collection. When you're accessioning something into your museum collection, you're creating a long lasting record for that object. It basically is allowing a museum to have legal ownership, titles, and rights to whatever that object is. When you accession something into your collection, you then have to catalog it. So both of those numbers are assigned to that specific object. Think similarly to your social security number or your license number. So every object we have here has its own catalog number. That number is trinomial and every single one with every single object in our collection is different. There are no two catalog numbers the same, or so we hope. So here at CBMM, uh, we have to label our objects. That's kind of how you provide the best stewardship and keep track of what you have in your collection. Um, in partnership with our online uh, database program. Uh, so we do this in a number of ways. Um, most objects have a archival tag like so um, that will have written information, the catalog number, sometimes the accession number, um, maybe what year it was donated on this tag. Additionally, um, each object uh, for the most part, uh, we, we do a method where we have archival paper, which is 100% cotton or cotton based, um, which basically uh, has less acidity levels that will harm the object. Um, we print out a little catalog number on it like so, cut it out and then use uh, B72 in acetone um, to apply, which is kind of like an adhesive, a little different. Um, to apply that label to the object. This kind of ensures that if uh, we find something and you know we wanna keep track of it, we have that number, we have that catalog number to trace back to our accession records, which are paper folders um, and an online collection system. Okay, now we will jump into uh, what it means to photograph document something in our collection or something that will be going into our collection um, and how you do that with objects. Here at CBMM, this is what our photography station looks like for our objects. Um, so today I am photographing two paddles that are about to um, go up for our curatorial committee meeting um, for 2020 quarter one. We have about four of these meetings every year to accession those objects into our collection. Um, so as previously mentioned, I have a label that kind of just explains the information um, about that donation, something to track it. Um, and then always I have a folder dedicated to what that donation looks like, who donated it, um, and all the legal information and provenience information associated with the two paddles. When working on objects, uh, you always want to be using pencil, um, and most of the time you don't want it near the object at all. Um, but pencil is preferred because if you're working with pen or Sharpie or marker, it could always damage the object or you have a higher risk of um, accidents happening. Uh, so at our photography station, um, I'll explain a little bit more of these uh, tools that I use to make sure that A, the object is being preserved well, and B, we capture it in the best light. Um, so I use a color block, and I always take one extra photo with the color block. So if there are any skewed um, colors or warm tones or cool tones, uh, that can be adjusted using Photoshop or another computer program. Um, I always have a brush so that I can clean off the objects if there's dust or anything, and that always depends on what type of object you're working with. For the paddles, I'll be using this brush. Um, cotton gloves and uh, rubber gloves. So again, depending on what object you have determines on what gloves you will use. So with paper products, best practice is clean, dry, uh, recently washed hands so that you don't have oil on the delicate paper, but also if you were to be using cotton gloves, you could accidentally tear or rip um, and kind of have that object more at risk. Since these wooden paddles are in pretty solid shape, um, the paint is not chipping, I will be using the rubber gloves, uh, but cotton would also work well. So I just took my photo. I was able to get every aspect of the object in the frame, um, which is super important. Uh, the lighting is really important as well. You wanna minimize how many shadows are casted behind your objects. Since there are two of them, 
um, and the angle is a little interesting here. Uh, I had to play with the light a little bit to make sure that happened. Uh, we used two um, lighting umbrellas to kind of fuss with the shadows and make sure we have the most accurate representation of what the object is.